Well, life is always a little sweeter with a little honey. It's a staple in many kitchen pantries, and there are endless benefits and ways to use this liquid gold. It's also a topic I think our next guest knows a little bit about. Cindy Fosland is the owner of Lake Thompson Honey Company, and she's one of the friendly faces you'll see at the Falls Park Farmers Market this weekend. Good to have you, Cindy. Did you see that little factoid thing there? That honey's got tryptophan in it. It's supposed to be a sleep aid. I have. I've, I've actually tried it before, and it does work. If really? You, yeah. If you take a little bit um, before you go to bed at night, like an hour before you're going to go to sleep, it does help you sleep well. I thought of it, I mean, just because I like honey, but you think about the sugar rush that you get from it because there's so much, you know, the sugar in it is intense too. But, hey, tell us about Lake Thompson Honey. What is it? How did you... Where did it come from? How did it come to be? It's uh, kind of a neat story. Well, Alfred Foslin um, in 1915 caught a swarm from some neighbors' hives, and the neighbors actually bought their hives from um, Sears and Roebuck, okay. which I thought was interesting. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and um, so he caught a swarm from their hives, and uh, that's how it all started. And so from that, so uh, that's funny. So somebody buys some 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 uh, bees from Sears. <laughs> and then comes into his yard and says, you know what, I'm going to start doing this. Yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome. How many beehives do you have going on your property? Um, we run about 1,500 hives right now. And wow. so they're spread all over South Dakota. So the picture we just saw, that hive, the, the, the drawers, is that considered a hive then? Yes. Okay. One stack is one hive. No matter how tall it is, okay. so it's one hive. Okay, so you have 1,500 of them. Yep. That's a lot. It is. Wow. It is. Yes. So how many bees does that Equal, do you know? Oh, you know, I don't even know. Um, at their peak, I think they can have about a half a million bees in one hive. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a lot of it bees. Is. So why, I, I'm interested in learning about producing honey. And so when the, when the bees are in there, we've all seen them in the swarm and they're, and they're producing the honey. How, do, how does that process take us, like, in the season? I mean, when do they start doing it? When does it end? Is there a season? Is it year-round? How does it work? So we start our honey production in May. Um, we put our bees in different pastures around South Dakota. And um, then we start extracting that honey in um, August, September. And then the bees actually go south for the winter to East Texas uh, in about November 1st. And then they um, go to California for almond pollination in January. And they come back to Texas. We make up our new hives. And then they get shipped back up to South Dakota for honey production. Okay, when you say you, they're they're shipped back, so you're physically shipping them. Yes. You're, they're not flying like, hey, we'll see you later. Right. Have no. a going away party. Um, we have a, we have them all palletized, <laughs> and they go on flatbed semis with nets over them, and yeah. that's how they get trucked around. So you're actually moving them themselves. Wow. Yeah. So that's a pretty. So it's really a summer process that bees do their thing. Yes. Wow, that's incredible. So we, I want to get into honey. Um, itself. So some of the things I was learning about honey and, and one of the things I learned about is about crystallized honey. And so we've all seen that in our in our pantries or our, our cupboards that sometimes if you leave it too long it becomes crystallized. And I'm looking at one of is this part of would this be crystallized? Yes, that's crystallized honey because it's raw honey. Okay. So this hasn't been heated or strained. So it crystallizes really fast okay. because it's never been heated. So it's got this, this you, know, you can see kind of the whiteness to it on here. So, yep. so is that bad? Is it saying that it's... Nope. Okay. Actually, raw honey is the healthiest honey to eat. It retains all the pollens and live enzymes. Okay. Um, so you get all the goodness in raw honey. So how long of a shelf life does, something, or does raw honey have? Um, honey will actually never spoil. It will keep indefinitely. They even found honey in the pyramids. They said you could still eat. Wow. Um, so like 2,000 years old. Um, so it will keep forever. Interesting. Yeah. So how, how long does it take then from the process that you explained about making the honey to turn it into the products that, I mean, just making a jar of it, some of the other things that you, that you sell? Well, um, the honey that we heat and filter, um, we heat up a barrel of honey and filter it, and it, you know, so it takes about a day to do that. We bottle the raw honey right after we extract it. Um, comes right out of the bottom of our tank. Uh, we let all the wax and stuff float to the top of the tank. So we do that once a year. The creamed honey we make year round um, from the, the filtered honey. And then the other products we just make as needed. So what, tell me, I gotta ask, what's creamed honey? What is that about? That's honey we've allowed to crystallize and then we whip it until it gets thick oh, and creamy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Can I, is it, can I open it or does sure. it have a sealer yep. on it? Um, so it's 100% honey, it's just more spreadable. Oh, sure enough. Yeah. Wow, it still tastes, it looks like butter. 
<laughs> it's just like butter, right? Honey butter. <laughs> it right? is. So, okay, so you guys make a ton of different stuff. I mean, you've got all kinds of different products here. So are you making these products right? Uh, as I mean, how do you make the, you're making candles, you're using it everything. Yes, we take the beeswax cappings and we melt them down and make beeswax candles. Um, and then in all our other products, the soap, the wood polish, the hand cream, the lotion bars, and the lip balm, they either contain beeswax or honey or both. Yeah. So everything, all of our products come out of the hive. And they say honey is so good. We kind of teased it that there's so many good things from honey. We talked about the tryptophan, but what other things are benefits from using honey? Um, it's really good for your digestion. Um, and I think um, I've heard people tell me that raw honey is really good for arthritis. Oh, okay. So I don't know about that. It's also very good for allergies. If you take yeah. a little bit every day, because of the pollen in it, it helps build your immunity. You know, these are things I think about, I forget, I learn about them, and then it's like, I gotta go home and have some honey today. So, <laughs> right, right? Exactly. so tell us, uh, so you've been at the farmer's market for a long time. Yes. Where are you located at the farmer's market? We're about right in the middle on the um, east side. On the east side yep. of it, okay. Yep. And you're, are you there every weekend? Have you, um, not every weekend. We're kind of um, there once in a while. Uh, we will be there this Saturday. Um, so yeah. and I think it'll be our last our last one for the yeah, season right. for so us. Yeah, right. So close to the end. So yeah. Do the, do the candles, do they smell like honey when you light them then? They do. Do yep. they really? Yeah. I've never smelled a honey candle. Yeah. So, hey, well, Cindy, thanks for being in today and uh, for sharing us a little bit about honey. It sounds like you guys got a good thing going and good luck uh, at uh, the rest of this year. And, and I hope the bees have a good winter. Thank right? you. I appreciate back. it. Yeah, so.